Hi, this is Tommy at Carrera Casting. In today's episode on 3D scanning, we are going to explore how to use 3D scanning to repair parts. A customer came in with this earring. Unfortunately, the model he has is only the right side. He needed the left side. And the left side's been gone for many, many years. So he asked us to scan it and see if we could make a left side. Before we can get a scan, the product has to be prepped. Let's go over to Greg and watch how he does this. This is an earring. This is a model for an earring. Originally, there was a left and a right, but one of them was lost. I need to make a mirror image of this, and I need to scan it in, and I need to get it very precisely. This is nothing but 90 degree angles, so I've got to be a little bit careful with it. I'm going to put it on a base, and this is nothing special. This is the cap to my vitamin bottle and some red wax, utility wax that any jewelry shop's gonna have lying around. I'm gonna spray it up. I'm gonna go slow. And I'm really just sort of misting it. The lighter I can put that coating on it, the more surface detail I will preserve. And I have to wait for it to dry every time because you cannot do this wet on wet. We sprayed it, we mounted it. And I'm gonna put it in, in the machine to do a scan of it. Every time it moves into a new position, it's going to take another snapshot of it with the camera and create a surface. Eventually, it will build enough surfaces to be able to merge it all into one and make a solid watertight STL. Okay, it's taking all the shots it needs to. So this may look like one piece, but it is made up of all these different snapshots over here. This is going to fill in all these lines itself. It's got a pretty good algorithm for guessing what the surface is supposed to be. Now it's complete. So I can export this as an STL and it can go straight to build. We have brought in our scan onto the CAD program. We have sent it onto the construction plane and we did a few basic repairs on it, such as drilling holes and thickening the side over here because they still have to do some jewelry work on it when it's done. Here is the repaired part. What I'm going to do now is just mirror it over. These earrings are ready to go to the 3D printer and to casting, and here is our results. Whether you have a damaged part or you're missing one side of a pair of earrings, when you scan the product, you can get everything repaired or mirrored over and not have to do the whole thing by hand ever again. And you will always have it in your file ready to be used.